Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Lee Davidson from Your Vet Online and thank you so much for taking part in today's Take a Guest Tuesday. So this week we had a couple of x-rays to show you. The first one was a what we call the normal x-ray as we can see here and this one is the radiograph of a dog's chest and we can see an outline of the heart which I've shown you here. Okay. Then we get to the abnormal chest x-ray of the, a dog. Now, what we can see in this one, showing right here, is that there is a rather large globular heart in the middle of that x-ray. So many of you did correctly diagnose that this was an enlarged heart. And we can see the outline here. Okay, now I've got the two side by side and we can see that there is some really big differences that can be seen with these two x-rays. So well done everyone for getting an enlarged heart. So what actually causes an enlarged heart? Well, one of you said something interesting and you mentioned that it could have been heartworm. Yes, an enlarged heart can be caused by a heartworm. This was not, however, the issue in this situation. And to be fair, we can't actually tell from an x-ray what potentially is causing the problem. So please don't think I'm suggesting that you can. All we know is that we can be suspicious of certain things and we need the actual history of a dog to be able to determine exactly what is going on. Someone else also mentioned that it could be a sign of heart failure. So perhaps the dog has um, heart failure from mitral valve disease. Yes, that can potentially cause an enlarged heart. However, the signs on an x-ray don't look quite like what we're seeing in this one here. The x-ray that I showed you today was shows a very globular heart. Here is the view in what we call a VD. This one here. So this is when we look between from up and down direction rather than side to side direction. As we can see it's a very globular heart and what this means is that the whole of the heart whether it's the top part of the heart or the bottom part of the heart they're both extremely dilated and what we have to assume then is that this dog possibly has dilated cardiomyopathy. With this particular dog, we know from the history that it was fed a grain-free diet. And from what you've probably heard us talk about before, is that many vets are now recommending that we do not feed any dog, or cat for that matter, a diet that contains, that is grain-free or contains boutique exotic ingredients. So the diets that are implicated in causing dilated cardiomyopathy are what we call big diets. It stands for boutique exotic grain free, meaning that we are making a diet for our pet that is made up of boutique exotic ingredients. So the likely contributors to most of these problems are those diets that contain peas, lentils, and potato or sweet potato, and no grain whatsoever. What we do know is that there is a disruption to the way taurine is metabolized. It's not just a factor of adding some taurine. So if you have a grain-free diet that says they've put added taurine, that doesn't really cut the mustard. It is more than just a lack of taurine in that diet. It's got to do with the very, very subtle mechanisms and metabolism between products such as methionine, lysine, and all those amino acids. And so it is really quite complicated. The interesting thing about this diluted cardiomyopathy that we're seeing with these grain-free diets is that grain-free is basically a marketing ploy. It all started because of the whole lack of carb thing, the keto diets that humans started to have for ourselves. And we thought, you know, some marketer thought, hey, we'll do this for our pets as well. Dogs 
actually cope extremely well with grain in their diets and there is absolutely no need, as we can see, for them to go grain free. So what we're seeing, and especially in America, because of course in America, there are a lot more animals so that when we see problems, we see it in greater numbers. But the same problem is occurring in Australia, maybe just not quite the same numbers. What vets are recommending though, is that you do not feed a grain-free or a boutique diet, such as an exotic protein diet, unless your veterinarian has actually prescribed this for your pet. So don't go for those novel protein diets without grain. Just stick to your big five commercial kibble that can have grain. So we're talking about diets like ProPlan, Purina, Yukonuba, Royal Cannon, Hills, Advance. They are all great diets that have been nutritionally formulated by veterinary nutritionists and have very good quality control measures. So when things, if something was to go amiss with a batch, they work it out very, very quickly. Many of you might be wondering, what are the signs that you might notice that your dog might be having a problem with dilated cardiomyopathy? And the sad thing related to this is that often there are very few signs until your dog collapses and sadly for many, dies. So the big thing is, is if you're feeding a grain-free diet, the opinion of veterinarians worldwide is that you remove your dog from that diet immediately. If there is a genuine reason for your dog to be on a grain-free diet, then choose a diet that has been formulated by veterinary nutritional experts. If there is a genuine need for your dog to be on a grain-free diet, perhaps they have an allergy, which incidentally is actually very, very, just very, very low prevalence. There are very few dogs actually do have allergies to grains. However, if your dog does need to have a grain-free diet, please consult with a veterinary nutritionist. There are some formulations out there that are better than others, and we can definitely advise on that for you. If you do suspect that your dog is um, having episodes of collapse, maybe they seem weaker than usual, maybe they just can't keep up the way they used to, and you have been feeding a grain-free diet, please talk to your veterinarian and get some tests done on your dog's heart to ensure that this isn't the problem. Unfortunately, there's not very many signs that we can tell without doing procedures such as an echocardiology exam using ultrasound. That's so far is the only method of really confirming um, exactly what's going on. Yes, an x-ray is great. We can see that there's a, um, a large heart, but we can't see the other things that are going on. So bottom line, guys, and thank you so much for listening, is that if you're feeding a grain-free diet to your dog, the opinion of vets worldwide is for you to stop now. Thanks so much for listening to Take a Guest Tuesday. If you enjoyed this one, give us a thumbs up. If you um, And make sure you tell all your friends to subscribe to our channel and tune in next week for next week's Take a Guest Tuesday. I'm Dr. Lee. This is your vet online.